diaphragm out. If you recall, it wasn't really running full time before it would it would stall out. And uh, so I picked up a 10 pack of, I think there's 10, of diaphragms from Amazon. They're not Briggs OEM, but uh, they're an awful lot cheaper. And I was about to put it on and I noticed that my governor link was sitting kind of funny. And it turns out that the screw on the other side here that uh, it pivots on had fallen out. So maybe that's why it was dying. So I've put some red Loctite on that screw and hopefully it'll stay put. And in the meantime, while we're letting that set up, because I'm not going to run it while that's fresh, you can put the air filter on. This has a lid made from a coffee can, I guess. Uh, it'll have to do, so I don't have a lid for it. I'm not sure, because it was loose when I got this, the proper alignment. We'll have to just sort of try a few things. So that puts that pretty close to the exhaust. Well, maybe it sits that way to give access to the uh, choke. <laughs> that would make sense. We'll try that. Air filter itself actually looks pretty good. So there's the cover. And that is hitting the air filter, so that is not good. Not gonna work. I think we need to turn it this way. And that's all good. If we have to get to the diaphragm, we still can. all right get my bolts just got some 5 16 18 body bolts from Lowe's so they kind of look OEM ish I guess and I'll just go into some speed nuts here on the brackets and such That's in the way. If you take a look over here, I've put the bonnet on there, uh, or they call it a beaver tail sometimes. So I just, I don't know, directs the snow, I guess. So overall, we're kind of getting there. 